When I find out the science, when I find out, ha. Huh. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this look right here for Valentine's Day or just for the weekend out. And then also I'm gonna be doing a haul, a new product try on. I got the new Benefit mascara. You'll see in the video how that works. I got some new lashes I'm absolutely loving. I got the magnetic eyelashes from Ardell that I got from Ulta that were $13.99 and I'm not really a fan of it. And then also some new products here that I got from Amazon, Ulta, Bed Bath & Beyond. This was from Sephora. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look right here, please keep watching, share my video. Thanks. Let's get started. This is the new mascara by Benefit. I don't know what I did with the box, but basically something behind this mascara makes it really good, it attaches to the hair. It's like an astronaut type of um, mascara. I'm not really sure, but it's called Bad Gal Bang. And it just says bigger, better, volumizing mascara. Supposedly it's really good, especially for people with no lashes. So I'm gonna get my mirror. Supposedly it was a big event that uh, a lot of YouTubers went to. I found a really neat way to curl my lashes and to curl all of my lashes. Like I literally have no lashes. This is so sad. Doing lash extensions. When, when I reach the outer corners, like right here, I have to go like this to the client and then inner corners i have to go like this to reach the inner corners so for the outer corners like i put this on my curling iron too to heat it what i do is when i'm curling my lashes on the outer corner i will basically go like this pump 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 and then curl in the inner corners i will do the same and then it like curls the ends, which are always the hardest parts for me to curl. Looks a little weird, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Wow. Wow. Now the only thing is, we want to see if this is going to stay. Whoa, I didn't realize my lashes were that long. Or are they? No, they're not. Gotta be this mascara. So here's what the wand looks like. It's It's got super small little plastic bristles in there that really grab to each lash. Oh no, please don't straighten. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the other eye. Holy moly. Okay. Wow. This tube was uh, $12. I got it at Ulta. And they have a bigger bottle that is $24, but I didn't buy that one just because I am sampling it out. Oh no, it's kind of straightening out my lashes. Let's do the bottom. This is gonna be a, such a weird video because I normally wouldn't be applying mascara right now because I don't have my eyeshadow on. But I know that you guys wanna see and get straight into the video. Wow, it grabs my bottom lashes really well. I see my top lashes straightening out but later on we will try to apply some more coats oh my gosh but my bottom lashes though <laughs> this is crazy i'm loving it i also purchased these ardell uh, magnetic lashes from Ulta as well. They are a little confusing. It doesn't, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I tried to make it work. These retail for $13.99 or $12.99. And um, it says easy to apply, no adhesive needed, reusable. And like, I literally tried to make it work. They were super complicated. So I'm probably just gonna use them, but um, use my glue to apply it because this magnetic thing isn't working. 
I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got on Amazon that I am absolutely loving. I follow this lash artist and a salon owner. Her name is Cami. She's so funny. This right here is what she recommended to buy. Her goal in 2018 was to kind of go foundation free. That's what I want to do as well because I mean the more natural the better. The older you get the more makeup you put on the older you look. So I do want to try not to wear as much foundation. Right here I've got lots of hyperpigmentation right in this area and I feel like it's really like fading away and this retailed for only $9.97 on Amazon. This stuff is amazing. It really is amazing and it makes my skin feel really good and they're rated like five stars. This is the Instant Plumping Serum, dual formula instantly plump skin for a flash radiant, pure collagen and soy lift anti-aging complex. It comes in a dropper and so I just basically dab some on my ring finger and then I will apply it morning and night so I, I just applied some on and this is really cool you just let it kind of dry I bought this Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender so I'm gonna start off with this and I'm just gonna spray my face it smells so good it smells like a spa mm, I didn't purchase any new primer so I'm gonna just use my go-to prep and prime by MAC 24 hour extend eye base which is like my all-time favorite and I'm just going to apply that all over my lids. I'll fix my brows a little later. Gosh, I have a feeling this video is going to be long. I'm going to use my Patrick Star powder and set my primer that I just applied. For my transition color for this look, I'm going to go in with this color here. This is Passionate. This is my self-made palette that I put together and I'm going to use Passionate with a big fluffy brush and just apply that all over the lids. This is going to be such a pretty look. I've been wearing it for like the last three days nonstop ever since I got this palette right here. Another new find that I found at Sephora is uh, this Tarte palette. It is a shadow palette, but they are foiled finger paints. And oh my gosh, I fell in love. Like I wasn't even trying to find anything, but when I saw this and I swatched it at Sephora, I was like, oh heck yeah. And luckily I grabbed the last one. I will quickly show you some swatches, like easily, easily. I don't know the colors of these, but And then watch. These foiled shadows are to die for, to die for. And then it also comes with two shimmery glitter colors. Oh, here's the name of them. So this color is Sea Glass, Sailor's Delight, which is what we're going to use, and Gold Coast. And then these are Stargazers. These are so, these are so pretty. And they're kind of like little toppers. So gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna go in with Sailor's Delight, which is right here. Really pretty color. And I'm gonna use my 239 brush and just lightly pack it on my lash line. Okay, then I'm gonna use my finger and go in with it. And then just pack it all over the lid. And a little bit above my crease. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let me brighten up this light. And I'm just using my finger and applying it all over my lids. Then I'm going to take my 239 brush again. And then I will put it on my lower lash line. I can't remember what this retailed for. I believe it was 39. Another new find was this Jordana liquid eyeliner pencil and it is a 12 hour liner. And I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. And then also a tight line.
because actually I think I'm gonna go with false lashes because I don't like how straight this made my lashes okay so we've tight lined too Woo. okay so I'm gonna grab some more of the um, sailor delight color and just kind of pack it and blend the, the liner So, yeah, this mascara super straightened my lashes. <laughs> Darn, I thought it was going to be like a really, really good. It did really do good on my bottom lashes, though. I will admit. Okay, so I'm going to blend this a little more. This is not a new find, but I'm using the NYX Liquid Liner. All right, so that is as good as we can get. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> now you guys know how I like to flip flop around. I am going to apply some foundation and concealer. I'm gonna be using Sephora's Bright Future in Eclair and then my foundation combo, I'm gonna mix my Double Wear and my L'Oreal True Match. And then I'm gonna eat a Girl Scout cookie. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I will blend it. I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This isn't new either. Ooh, that's a lot. This stuff go a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to put some here because I like that not brand new look, you know? dewy like I've had makeup on for a while look so I'm gonna apply that just on my cheeks and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation so I will just kind of put a little bit here and a pump here or more than a pump Mix the color. And apply it all over my face. That was a lot. But I'm gonna use the flat side of my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And this will literally last all night. I don't know what your plans are, but if it's gonna be you know, going out, Valentine's Day, going out to the bar, to the club, or whatever. I know in California it's really hot. Out here in Texas it's pretty hot too, so if you are going to sweat, I'm pretty sure that this makeup will last all night long. And you won't have to retouch nothing up. Do you guys like these long tutorials, or do you guys like the short, quick tutorials because sometimes there's certain youtubers that i watch or beauty enthusiasts that i watch that i like to see their whole routine and then there's some that i'm like okay fast forward i'm going to set my foundation we're going to take the flat side of the real techniques brush and it is damp and then we are going to set our under eye and then we're going to take the other side and then just get into the nooks and crannies you see how one side's matte and the other side is dewy and it doesn't even look thick you know what i'm saying i love it so setting your face with this technique is really cool because it's not going to give you that whoa powdery look where it's like dang girl you just put your makeup on that's what i really like about this technique we are going to contour nothing new with contour because if you watched my previous video I told you guys that I was not gonna buy any more contour until this ran out and then if you guys are wondering this is actually a magnet um, that I just am too lazy to take off but it is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I am going to 
use these two to contour. A new technique that I learned was to press it onto your face. Press, sweep, press, sweep. And I guess what that does is it just makes it more natural. Instead of looking like the product is on the surface of your face, it's just looking like it's a natural shadow. Take the residue. Okay, I'm going to finish touching up my brows off camera and I will be right back. Okay, not much, but we had to fix it a little bit. Next, this is not a new product either. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. I've been liking that warm look lately, so I'm gonna go in with this oldie but goodie. This is by MAC, and it's an extra diminution skin finish, and the color is in Glorify. I've actually used it a lot back in the day. You can use it as a bronzer, kind of, like a nice shimmering glow. And I'm gonna just use a really big brush by MAC. This is the number 150. Lightly just apply it like right there. And it doesn't give you that pink undertone, that pink blush look. I don't know what it does. It just gives you that really nice, glowing, shimmering, tan look. And it's really pretty. i just give my forehead a kind of glow too. A little of this goes a long way. My next new product that I got, I get my lash extension supply from two companies, Lash Savvy, and then the other one is Meiraki Lash, which is new to me. I've got a whole bunch of these pre-made fans that I'm so excited to use. These are 3D and then 5Ds, and I am loving them. And so she actually, it's Cami, Cami, the one that recommended the, um, moisturizer on Amazon. She has her own lash strips also. This is a Meiraki lash strips. These are amazing, you guys. These are amazing. I literally, like, I want to buy so much. The only thing is when you order through her site, it's free shipping if you spend $200 or more. These trays are $20 each, but, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm not going to buy $200 worth. I don't have that many clients to be like buying a whole bunch of stuff. And if you're curious, um, if any of you like lash extensions or whatever, I'll just do a real quick haul. These are pre-made lash fans. I'm not volume certified. I'm just a classic certified lash extension technician. Oh my gosh. The pre-made fans are, I, I, are legal for me. I can apply pre-made fans on uh, a client and they can look like volume lashes. I haven't gotten volume certified because I'm kind of on the fence of getting permanent makeup certified uh, versus volume certified. I also got these little tweezers. They're actually um, what I use to apply a lash, apply each lash, and you can also tweeze with this too. So it's multi-purpose. I got her primer her primer for the lashes. This is, um, you have to be really careful getting it into the eye. It will sting because this basically removes any oil residue that is on the lash so that the retention of the lash extension will be longer. I got the lash cleanser primer. So you put this on before you put the primer on and then this helps clean your lashes and helps remove some of the oil, but not all of the oil. So yeah, that's all I got, which was not $200 worth. And it comes with a really nice message from Meiraki Lash. Here, your new lash supplies are here. And thank you, Meiraki Cami. If you um, look her up on Instagram, her name is Cami. And then also Meiraki Lashes, they, that's her company. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and put these babies on because these are so comfortable. The band, it's kind of dirty. Don't judge me because I told you guys that I have been wearing this look for the last three days. So it's got some of the same color on. I just love the presentation of it. Like it's so pretty. I'm gonna keep this literally forever. But it comes in this round case and this is what they look like. So pretty, the lash band is not thick at all. And so it's not uncomfortable feeling or anything. I'm gonna take care of these. These are the most, the best lashes that I've found. A lot of lashes that have thicker lash bands because they have to because of all the hairs that are on the lash band. I'm using my lash tweezer that I got from Ulta a long time ago. And 
Oh, the lash glue that I'm using is the Duo Lash Glue. This is not sanitary unless you put it on a plate, but this is my personal one, and it is the Duo Lash Adhesive. And it's the green one. This is better than the, the ones that um, come out of the tube. I mean, not for sanitary reasons, but for they, it, this thing sticks. Oh, it's time to put it on. Put it on here. And then apply, press and wiggle a little bit. And then kind of push down a little because I want it to go in that fold. And then I'll manually put my finger in to get it to stick as well. Only thing is with thicker lash bands, you do have to work with it a little more and mold it because they are thick and they don't budge really. Holy cow, look at that. Oh yeah, these are, woo, I love them. Love them. Apply the lash glue. With this lash glue, what you do is get it in position for when you're like about to apply it. And then once it turns, okay, so this is the color that it looks like right now. Once it turns into like more of a clear look, then that's when it's ready. Oh yeah. Oh, so dramatic, but so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Holy cow. <sighs> Sorry that I did not apply another coat of the Benefit lashes. I think I'm just gonna continue using it for my bottom lashes because it didn't work for me. I'm gonna apply another coat because now my bottom lashes look like there ain't nothing there. This has nothing to do with makeup, but I did buy this Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Spray. Loving it. It smells so good. It smells like Hawaii. Bring me back to Hawaii. Oh. It smells so good. <laughs> I think for bigger faces, the best look for your hair is to straighten it. Because if you curl your hair, you just look like a big old big head with some curly hair. So I think I'm going to straighten my hair to make my face look smaller. Because I literally look like a dinosaur. But I'm not done with my eyes yet. I'm going to take this color right here. These are the stargazers and their toppers. I'm just going to put it on the lid to give you that twinkle. Oh, you see? Just a nice, a nice, and it gives it this really nice copper look. And I'm just putting it in the center. You can go with or without, but I like with. I love this palette, you guys. This palette will be gone. The whole product, all of these eyeshadows are going to be gone by the end of this year, I bet. There you go. There you have it. I'm going to hide my lash band with my liner. I've got this as my highlighter. It's the Starlet Powder by Makeup Forever. But I want to try to use this color as a highlighter because I looked and the color is actually like a highlighter color and it's a wet formula. I cannot wait for Amrezy's highlighter to come out on the 14th. I'm going to buy it. So let's do it on the, the nose first. Okay, not bad, not bad. So this is like a universal product, multi-use product. I mean, what the hell? Oh, you guys, this palette, I love it. And it's so pretty. It's got turquoise. I believe these are turquoise. I don't know if it's real or not, but yeah, it's so pretty. Like it's just super small, compact. I can fit it in my little clutch like it. It's perfect. I've been going through my old lipsticks because I have so many of them. It's actually this right here. I did a little DIY and I put all my lipsticks, some of them, because I have more in another spot. But I grabbed these two oldie but goodies. They're both by MAC. This one is limited edition Hello Kitty. The color is Strayin'. 
and this is the color right here it's so pretty and then my next color that I'm going to mix is this one right here it is a cream sheen and the color is Shanghai Spice I love going through my, my old stuff because it's so crazy I posted on Instagram that every single lipstick that I was going through it was a memory a memory of when I first started makeup memory of friends who I went with to go buy the lipsticks I remember every single lipstick that I have when and what store and where and like everything if I bought it online or whatever this one I had bought my friend Jasmine bought this for me she was working at a coffee shop I think her parents owned the coffee shop and I picked up all my stuff because we did a pre-order thing that's where I got my Hello Kitty ones was from her this cream sheen one I got in Colorado my husband was in Korea at the time and I was like shopping splurging because that's my outlet but I got this in Colorado and it was this really nice lady her name is Nicole she's Hawaiian from Washington or vice versa it was at the um, Citadel Mall <laughs> I'm not gonna put any lip liner on I'm just going to apply the lipstick and just messily apply the lipstick. It's a really pretty, like not dead looking color. And then I'm going to put this Hello Kitty color just to kind of vamp it up, but not all the way vampy. So that was my lipstick combo are these two. All right, so now I am gonna go do my hair and then that will be the end of this video. Okay, I'm back. I've changed into what I think I'm gonna wear for Valentine's Day and I did my hair. I, I know I said I was going to keep my hair straight but I ended up deciding to kind of give myself that messy curl look. And last for this look, I'm going to spray my face again with the facial spray by Mario Badesco. This stuff smells so good. I freaking love it. Love the look that it gives you. I paired my look with this off the shoulder dress. It's super cute. And then I'll probably wear like a nice little jacket to cover up. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this look. And I hope that you guys try it. Like it was super fun. It's not like crazy, you know, pink colors for Valentine's Day. It's pretty easy, honestly. So um, yeah, and it's definitely like sweat proof. All you need is a good base. And once you have that good base, then your look will be untouchable. No one can mess up your eyebrows. I did have a hater try to mess with my eyebrows if she only knew they were microbladed. <laughs> I hope everyone has a happy Valentine's Day, date night, or if you're single, head into the bar, go into the library, go into Starbucks, wherever it is. I hope you guys have a safe Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right here or here. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye.